Next up, James Burroughs, Rentals him. United, James. Rentals United is revolutionizing the way that our customers are working within the market today. We're a channel manager and a marketplace for the vacation rental sector. I'm James Burroughs, CEO, co-founder of Rentals United. I'm very happy to be here today. But first, let's start with talking about a real issue and challenge that our customers are facing. So imagine you're a traveler, you book a property online, you arrive after an eight-hour journey, and you realize that no one's there to greet you. So you ring the property manager, but no one's picking up the phone. So you ring the doorbell. And rather than the property manager answering the, the door, it's the mother of a family that's already occupying the property. And you realize the dream home that you booked is actually not yours anymore. And I'm sure that many of you have actually experienced this before. So now imagine you're the property manager. You, you eventually pick up the phone, and you realize you're going to have to calm down a very furious client. And you're, re you're asking yourself, what did I do? How can I solve this problem? And equally, is there so a solution out there that can help me? So at Rentals United, we've been developing, optimizing, and using a platform to enable our customers to distribute their rates and availability across more than 70 different booking websites. Originally, we were four competitors that came together with a vision to strengthen ourselves in a highly competitive market. We had four skill sets from marketing, IT, strategy, and sales. We have over 40 years' worth of combined experience in the VR space. So Rentals United enables our customers to be able to advertise their properties on numerous booking channels, so they'll be in front of their customers' eyes when they're ready to actually make a reservation. And not only this, we'll accurately distribute their availability descriptions and pricing across all of these different channels. So really, they get more bookings and less work. So double bookings are just the tip of the iceberg. In reality, it's more about these people, they don't have enough time to be able to manage all of these channels manually, and as a result, they get less bookings, lower occupancy, and lower revenue. We're already doing this for 60,000 properties worldwide. We're preferred partners and innovators for four leading brands in the market, Bookintop.com, Airbnb, HomeAway, and Agoda. And even though our competitors are all part of these um, programs as, as well, in 2018, we're onboarding more customers on these two channels than any other company within our market. The market's big. According to Focusrite, there are 10 million properties worldwide. There are another 4 million properties dormant in Europe alone. Whilst the biggest segment is from the owners, we've been tackling the low-hanging fruit for the top two markets. Um, these are professional property managers where their clients actually, they actually, their accounts actually grow over time. In 2019, we aim to tackle the owner segment. The market right now for us, for channel management, is, is worth $1 billion, but we believe we can get a larger chunk of the pie. So, there are four cornerstones of technology for a property manager. Our entry to this was through channel management, but we realized to offer these services to our other customers, we need to connect to a multitude of different competencies. So we've connected already to 45 PMSs, three yield managers, 70 different booking sites, and two payment processors. And this is where our core competencies of data distribution, automation, and connectivity come through. We, have, we manage huge amounts of data that are coming through on our platform on a daily basis. And our customers and our partners confirm that we're doing this better and faster than anyone else in the market. We have over 1,600 clients. We're a SaaS business, and we charge a monthly recurring fee. And these are some of the metrics that we're very proud of. Since inception, we've grown over 100% year on year. Last 12 months, 140%. We're invoicing 240,000 euros a month of recurring revenue, and our customers' value is five times more than the cost it takes to acquire a client in the first place. But the market is changing rapidly. 
There are many service companies now offering, the, offering these services to our industry. Our breakthrough is to connect to all the different third-party services and offer them all to our customers through one platform. So the addressable market goes from 1 billion to 5.75 billion. So let's return back to the property manager again. She decides to work with us, and within the first three months, her revenue increases by 25%. Not only that, all the data, booking data we can send to these operational services that she's using through us. So a booking comes in, we block all the calendars that she's using, and the cleaning app will send a message to the cleaners to go around to the property. The home automation service will turn on the air conditioning as the client arrives. You don't have to wait at the property for your client to arrive anymore because they've already got the keyless entry code, and the welcome app will greet the guests as they arrive through the property. So Rentals United is the artery that ties together all these technical services within our VR ecosystem, and we believe that automation will revolutionize the way that we do business in our market. Thank you. Thank you, James. <laughs> Into the dragons, then. Is this solution more geared towards an individual owner of a, of a property or property managers, like you said here? And, and if so, how are they different? How do you serve them differently? I mean, the market, 60% is made up by owners, but we've been tackling the 40% up till now. So our average size of client is around 40 properties. They are very tech savvy. Um, they're localizing a particular destination, and um, they're more eager to work with a tech company such as us. So who are your key competitors and how do you differentiate yourself from them? We have two major competitors in the US, Red Awning and Booking Pal, and equally there's one in, in Holland called Nextpacks. Um, other competitors are PMSs that are actually connecting directly to channels. How do, we, um, how do we shine above everyone else? I think it's more of a technical advantage. We're one of three companies who belong to a premier uh, partnership with Booking.com. None of the other companies are in this uh, three. And we're working to innovate and streamline and improve the connections with all these different channels. So for an example, uh, onboarding a year ago with Booking.com could take up to 30 days. We've narrowed this down to 24 hours. So if I look at the channel manager space in hospitality, right, it, it provides kind of a cautionary tale. How are you going to avoid that and that you know, at some point, right, everyone in, in the hospitality space, everyone had a channel manager, and then it became just a battle between the channel managers for who could price, you know, race to the lowest price um, for relatively similar functionality, relatively similar features. And then a lot of people ultimately just said, you know what, I don't even need a channel manager anymore. I can do it through, you know, some, another piece of technology I already have, my PMS, whatever it may be. I think if you look at the hotel sector, hotels are still using channel management, but what's different is that they're not actually utilizing the connectivity between their PMS and their, their channel manager. So they actually have a PMS, and they're actually then logging into a channel manager, and they're updating the channels via the, the channel manager. And for us, Hopefully we not. know that our clients need to use the technology all from one place. So we have the route th to our clients through the PMSs, and equally, we're building out these additional connections to lots of different third parties. So for us, it's not about channel management. It's all about um, data distribution and connectivity to all of these different um, third parties and how we can automate it. We're in Booking Pal, so I can't ask you too many tough questions. OK. But maybe I can ask you this. How, what we know is, well, first of all, completely bought into the problem you're solving. And I, it's a huge market, and there's going to be lots of, lots of winners, lots of opportunity. Yep. But how do you deal with the quality of the content, right? Down at, the, at the, the, those old mom and pop uh, property managers are dishing up pretty awful content, right? And mm -hmm. so how are you working with them to improve the quality? Well, I mean, we've built filters anyway, so you can't push a product to a channel without qualifying for that certain quality of content, and this is automated. And then we generate a report that goes back to the user, and then they need to be able to improve the quality of the photos or the descriptions or the, the title tags. And, and this so you of. give them the feedback loop it, saying, absolutely. if you improve these things, you're likely to get an improved Exactly. And we, we work on the, the biggest filters. So we work on the standards of Booking.com. Yeah, great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks. Thanks a lot.